Cao Cao takes the rank of Duke of Wei and succeeds in stabilizing his forces. He defeats Ma Chao of Guanzhong and strengthens his control of the north. While healing the damage taken at Chibi, he prepares for another campaign south. Elsewhere, Sun Quan forges an alliance with Liu Bei and waits for his chance to take the land. But their relations soon sour because of Liu Bei's possession of Jing, which Wu believes should have been theirs. Using Jing as a stepping stone, Liu Bei invades Liu Zhang's Bashu. With that success, he has finally obtained the country he has long searched for. In the north, Cao Cao. In the east, Sun Quan. In the south, Liu Bei. The world of the three kingdoms of Wei, Wu, and Shu have been established. Zhugliang, now that we have our own land of Shu, what should we do next? The fundamental theory behind the division of the land into three is that we are to join forces with Wu and oppose Wei. For the time being, Wei must be our only enemy. Our next step, therefore, should be to send our forces north. Now that we've secured Yi province, you will want to return to Jing province. How do you intend to deal with that demand? I will leave Jin province in the capable hands of Master Guan Yu. Even if Wu does threaten it, Master Guan Yu will know what to do. He knows that Wu is to be treated as our ally for now. Negotiations may dictate that we are forced to surrender a small area of territory to them to show good faith. How can we have to give Wu the land that we claim with our own blood, sweat, and tears? We've only just established a land of our own. We must avoid unnecessary war at all costs. It would sap our resources and distress our people. That is why maintaining our civil relationship with Wu is of the utmost importance. But Wu is tenacious when it comes to Jing province. I just hope the concession of the small amount of territory is enough to satisfy them. Master Liu Bei, I have come to report the latest happenings. We have seized Chengdu and claimed control of Yi province. However, the change of ruler has led to a certain amount of disorder within the territory. Petty crime and lawlessness are on the increase. There has also been an influx of the followers of the Way of the Celestial Masters after Cao Cao attacked Hanzhong in the north. In order to truly be considered the rightful ruler of Yi province, it is vital that you deal with these domestic issues, Master Liu Bei. Very well. Zhuge Liang, I leave the details to you. I would ask all of you now to make a contribution to easing the domestic tensions within Yi province. It will be difficult for one person to address everything. I would ask each of you to select a certain number of missions which you believe you can carry out. We have seized control of Chengdu, but the land remains as ridden with conflict as ever. I have ordered each officer to make efforts to bring order to the regions under their purview.
It appears the followers of the Way of the Celestial Masters have revolted in Hangzhou. It is no doubt due to losing their land at Yangping Gate. I feel for them, but we cannot allow their civil disobedience to go unpunished. We must defeat their leader, Zhang Lu, and quell the rebellion. You need me. This land will be the site of our new uprising. You will not get in our way. up once more.
The Way forces are behaving suspiciously at Mount Dean June. I hope they don't intend to attack us. Ma Dai has gone on ahead, but he will need help trying to establish what is happening in the enemy ranks. Time to get to work. Let's see what information we can secretly glean. If you spot any soldiers talking, hide yourself nearby. We need to eavesdrop, you know. We can't afford to be seen. Zhuge Liang of the Shu Clan is a tough one to have to face in battle with all of his tricks. His wife makes all those weapons too, doesn't she? A dangerous couple. What is he going to do next? Who knows? Facing Zhuge Lian is always bad for my heart. I don't see Sha Ho Yuan anywhere. Where's he gone off to? He left to go inspect the Abatis. He is always very detail oriented in that way. I see. I still wish he would just stay in the camp, though. This is going nicely. Keep it up. <laughs> <laughs>
What if we're attacked from behind the mountain? We couldn't defend that. Don't be silly. These steep roads would never allow for a surprise attack. Y yes you're right. Of course, I'm overthinking things. We've heard just about enough. I'd say this has been a resounding success. Let us see how your mission is proceeding. The devotees of the Way of the Celestial Masters should worry us no longer. We will eventually require their cooperation. Thank you for your report on the movements of the Way Forces. This will allow me to devise a more effective strategy. Our most immediate obstacles have been removed. The future of the territory already looks much brighter. Thanks to the fine work of all of you, we have no more concerns on the domestic front. This will allow us to send our troops north without worry. North? You mean we are to lay siege to the Qi Wei stronghold of Chang'an? Cao Cao has taken the Emperor and unilaterally transferred the capital to Shucheng. If we claim the former capital of Shun'un, it may allow us to restore the Han Imperial Court there. That's decided then. Let's get going right away. I can't wait to see some action. Everyone, remember, our goal is the restoration of the Han Imperial Court and the creation of a land of virtue and benevolence. We must defeat the traitor Cao Cao and rescue the Emperor from his clutches. It is for that objective that I need all of you to commit all the strength you have. <laughs> Zhang Lu has surrendered to Cao Cao, and Hong Zhang has fallen to the forces of Wei. We must make use of our relationship with Wu here. While they engage Wei in battle, we will have an opportunity to lay siege to the undermanned Han Zhong. But will Wu agree to move in accordance with our wishes? 
That's why you've decided to give them part of Jin Province, right? Yes. It pains me to simply hand over our hard-earned territory. But it is the best way to secure Han Zhong. Han Zhong will be a key foothold in our march to Shun Un. No, in our march to a land of virtue and benevolence. Who's not gonna like it? We're presenting it as an opportunity to get part of Jin Province in exchange for joining forces with Shu in battle against Wei. And it seems like a fair deal. But they may well look at it as being forced into a battle they never wanted. With Jin Province, originally their own land, used as bait. I'm worried that Master Jugo Leon's proposal may simply antagonize them further. The leadership of Wu has never allowed emotion to dictate their actions in the past. They've always done what is most beneficial to them. Surely they'll do the same again. Until now, that has certainly been the case. But their main negotiator, Master Lu Su, passed away recently. How do we know his successor will see things the same way? It's time for us to launch an attack against Hong Zhongs. Reports indicate that Cao Cao's main unit has already withdrawn. Only Xiao Yuan and Zhang He remain in Hanzhong. If we strike with all we have, there's no way we'll lose. Hanzhong lies between steep and perilous mountains. We will need to fight in new and creative ways if we are to claim it. But the Wei forces are stationed way up high. What else can we do but hit them from below? No, stripling! That's exactly what the enemy wants us to do! From on high, they'll be able to see our formation clearly and will be swept aside. The key in any mountain battle is to seize higher ground. We need to climb up using an unguarded path and set up our camp above theirs! That's exactly right, Master Huan Zhong. The path up the rear of the mountain is steep and unforgiving. The enemy will never suspect that we could climb up there. But an experienced warrior such as yourself, Master Huan Zhong, should have no trouble managing it. Would you mind leading our forces up to a location high enough to launch an attack on the enemy from above? I would like nothing more. I'll teach those children of Wei a lesson they won't soon forget. Time to take Han Zhang from Master Cao Cao. The key here is coordination between units. We will attack on multiple fronts. The enemy commander, Xiaohou Yue, is on Mount Dingjun. Project, can you come up with a strategy to lead us to victory? That lord entrusted me with this land. You cannot take it from me. Act. You're gonna see what happens when I get really mad! Forward! All we have to do 
do is cut down Liu Bei. I cannot afford to be impeded here. I must survive this trial. Getting in the way. Our oh, is ours. 
Not here. All our provisions are here. Is that right? Thanks for letting me know. I'll take you down and cut off your supply lines. All right, let's go take that area over there. Sorry, Father. I blew it. Enemy officer defeated. You always seem to surpass the expectations people have of you. Let's go capture one of those unsightly positions. Follow me! That looks like an important area. We have to capture it. That looks like an important... How is this scum doing this to me? Retreat! Dog has been taken by the enemy. Hmm? My son has fallen? We're gonna need to ask Tian Shui for more supplies.
Ah, I have found you at last, my child. I will not let you escape here alive. Come! No petty personal grievance has the power to overcome the dictates of justice. get it back. Everything is riding on the defense of this location. All right. I need everyone to defend this area. One day, I shall have my vengeance and take your life with these hands. Enemy officer defeated. going to do with you. Fallen! Victory is ours! Yeah! <laughs> Way's not all it's cracked up to be. I ran all around the mountains, but none of them could keep up with me. Finally. We've finally been able to take territory back from Cao Cao. It just shows how strong we've become. The forces of Wei will surely attempt to reclaim Hanzhong. We must prepare for their counterattack. Or, this victory will have been for nothing. 
It seems we will have to wait a little longer before we can bask in the glory of victory. The forces of U launch an attack on Parfait at the same time as our advance. We will be forced to deal with them, and will not be able to turn their attention to Hanjong for a while. We must use this small window of opportunity to strengthen the defenses of Hanjong. Everyone, please strive to do what you can for a short while longer. <laughs> 